Hello and welcome to a, uh, another awesome tutorial from JPod Tutorials. I'm Jared Salmon and I'm going to be uh, walking you through this today. Today we're going to make a um, simple three frame program like this um, using a little bit of inter uh, action script. So yes, let's get started. So to start we go file and my computer seems to be going really slow today but when it loads file, new action script three file, OK. Uh, we're going to fit this to the window. And I'm going to change the size as well to 500 by 500. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this. Um, okay, so first of all, we're going to make our stage look perfect before we start any action scripts. So if we come down here, uh, we need to make three frames. We've only got one, so if we click on frame 2 and press F6. And frame 3 and press F6. There we go, we've got three frames now. So we go back to frame 1 and we'll label them with some text. So we're going to make this one dark blue. And make sure it's set to static text. I'm going to call this frame 1. Just to show that we're on frame 1 here. We've got number 2. The text tool, change the colour. Make this frame 2. Look down. And number three, change the color again. Now make this frame three. Oops, I spelled that right, I did. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to add our buttons. So, uh, what buttons take us to another frame? So, we got, you can make your own, but we're just going to use the ones in um, Flash already. So, we go Window, Common, Libraries, and Buttons. And then there it is, this pops up. So this is basically it's got full of buttons that Flash has made, so I'm going to choose uh, this. No, I might use this. Um, oh, what have we got in here? These are all, oh yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll use Randwood. And so I'm going to make the colours match the colours of the titles, so for the one which is going to frame 2 I want it to be green, and the one which is going to frame Three. I want to be red. Now we're going to frame two. Add a blue one to go to frame one, and add a red one to go to frame three. And on here we need a blue and a green one. Okay, we close that off now. Go back to frame one. We want to make these a little bit bigger. So if we go Control T. It brings up the transform menu here. And I'm going to make them 250% bigger. So you just type 250. I'll make sure uh, this here is locked as well. So the width and the height both go up by 250. Okay, and those ones. And the final two. Alright. Okay, so we're just going to make these look a little bit nicer. We go view rulers and just click on here and drag on down. And we're going to make these both sit on this line. Uh, where is it about that? I'm using the arrow keys here just to move them around. Go to frame 2. We want these two to both sit on the same line. There we go. The mouse is going crazy. And Move it across a little bit. And number three. There we go. More. There we go. It's pretty good. And we can just press Control semicolon to switch off the ruler if we don't really want it on. In fact, I think that does need to move down one. Yes. Okay, there we go. So if we play that now by pressing Control Enter, you see all the three frames there, and it just runs through them really quickly. We obviously don't want that, and so we're just going to have to change an action script. But first of all, what we want to do is name our buttons so we can reference them in action script. So if we click on button one, this oh actually first of all we need to rename them. I forgot this step. Um, we have to rename them so they go to the you know so it the buttons make sense so this one instead of saying enter we need to say uh, frame 2 because it's going to take us to frame 2 so if we double click on it, it brings us into the editing for this button 
Now sometimes your text might be locked like this and so you have to click this to unlock it. Uh, on this one it's not. Uh, you just double click on the word enter uh, and this one's taking us to frame 2 so we're going to write frame 2 on here. Uh, back to the stage and this one double clicking oh actually I forgot a step there on frame 2 if you move it this along uh, when it goes to the down oh it does on this one this one's okay these buttons are okay sometimes down is a separate keyframe and you have to edit it on that as well sometimes if you move to down it will still say enter and you have to change your name on that but uh, on these buttons it's not uh, we double click here on this one and change this to frame 3. Um, okay, go back and go here. This one is taking us to. Oh, see the text layer is locked, so we need to unlock it. Click on that layer. Double click here. This one takes us to frame 1. Oops. You've labelled them all, they should all be labelled. Yeah, see, they're all labelled there. Okay. Uh, um, okay, now we need to give them names so we can reference them in action script, like I said before. So if we click on this one, we go over to properties and see there's an instance name. Um, this needs to be something logical, but it can be anything you want. So I'm going to make mine frame 1, 2, 2, because the button takes us from frame 1 to 2. Uh, this one, uh, we'll call it frame 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now we're going to go to action script. So you can press F9 to bring up your action script menu. Uh, mine is just here. And so you get presented with something like this. So the first thing we want to do, as you saw when we played it before, it just runs through them and doesn't stop. So first thing we're going to do is make it stop on frame 1. So we type stop. S T O P, and you see it becomes blue because at Flash recognizes that word. And we have to do open and close brackets or parentheses just to show it's a function. And as always, end with a semicolon. Now we're going to make our first function. So, what we want to do is on this button uh, here, we want to make that go to frame 2. So First of all, we reference the button and we called it frame one to two, and then you put a full stop or dot, and we we'll go this. And now we're going to add an event listener to it. An event listener basically listens to any event happening with frame one to two, and when that event happens, it will trigger a function. So we type add, and then event with a capital, and listener with a capital, and that goes blue again and then we open parenthesis and this tells us what sort of event listener we want so we want a mouse event with mouse event having capitals full stop and these are all the type of mouse events you can have which appear we just want to go down to click because when they click the button we want it to happen so this is basically listening for um, uh, this is basically listening for a click on the button frame 1 to 2 